Hi, so today we'll be discussing traffic light systems. My name is Ariana Feliciano and I'll be presenting today. So, um, just a little about me. I'm a junior at Liberty University and I'm currently a civil engineering major. So my introduction to traffic light systems. Traffic light systems are used to control traffic conditions in order to prevent dangerous and illegal traffic movements. Traffic light systems are used in everyday road use, schools, emergency locations, and highways. There are many different types of traffic lights and ways they work, which will be discussed further in our presentation. So just a little bit of history, 1868 was the, was the year that the first manual gas lit traffic system with mobile signs connected to a lever was installed. It sadly exploded two months later and killed a police officer. So those were no longer being built. Then in 1923, so a, t a bunch of time has passed, the first man man mechanical traffic light powered by electricity is built in Paris. And then the first electric traffic light here in the United States is built by Garrett Morgan. Those basically take the worldwide storm explode all over Europe and, eat, and even eventually reaches Asia Asia, in Tokyo in 1920, 1931. So then 1931 is when the international regulation on traffic symbols is made just to keep international traffic uh, colors and symbols consistent in each country. And they work simultaneously together. And then present traffic lights are everywhere. You guys see them everywhere, so obviously they have overtaken the world by storm. So these are just uh, two pictures of traffic light blueprints. So the one to your left is one built July 29th, 1924. And it's a pretty unique model. It's a, not a very unique model, but at the time it was a very unique model. And as you see, it looks pretty similar to the one built in 1960. And I'm pretty sure you guys have seen styles like these come around. So this is a pretty consistent uh, traffic light build in today's modern world as well. So how are they built? Traffic light systems are built with poles and arms that are corrosion resistant. The housing of the traffic lights are built with aluminum. The color lens lenses are typically made with either a durable plastic or glass. The high powered LED bulbs and reflectors are used to light the colored glass slash plastic. The traffic lights are connected to an underground control box that allows you to change colors accordingly. And the electric components are usually made with a copper material that are surrounded by a plastic material. It's a little slow. So, did you know? Most of you guys who have a car and drive know that red means stop, yellow means colors about to change, and to slow down, and green means go ahead. And these were actually adopted from train tra train traffic like train traffic symbols, but the yellow was actually a white. So, if you see the note under yellow says the first electric traffic light did not have yellow lights. The symbol that the light was about to change was either a loud buzzing noise or a white light with the word wait. So actually one of the first traffic lights, um, it just had, a, it basically had just two lights, so the red and the green, and then it would make a huge noise to symbolize that it was going to change colors. But just a little, little history knowledge. On the traffic light. So this is how a three light single stack traffic light looks like. So it has a body or a house. It has the tunnel visor to protect it from the weather and just to allow the re reflection of the light to be seen clear. And then it, the face of the traffic light, red, yellow, green, you know, things that most of you guys already know. Then the interior, so this is just a small little video on the interior of a traffic light that I thought was interesting. So actually is a door. Uh, it's a very cool design, so you can just open the door, you get access to the reflector, the light bulb, and the lens. Now the lens is also made of plastic or polycarbonate. Um, they also make these in glass. Uh, they also make metal signals, uh, which will stand up a lot better to weather and, uh, and, you know, of course, any kind of impact. So uh, the, the bulb that this one uses is just a 67-watt traffic signal bulb. Uh, they make a bulb specifically for these. 
So that is a polycarbonate traffic light. So there are different types of materials, but this one happens to be made out of polycarbonate, as he mentioned. So actually it's a dope. So common support poles. So this is what helps the traffic light stay afloat. And they are usually made out of wood, steel, concrete, or aluminum. So this is the control system. This is the brain of the traffic light system. The control system is the power behind the color changes of each light and how long until they make signal changes. The control system is made out of different electrical components and electromagnetic compounds to allow them to safely stop and continue cars. So two types of control systems, fixed time. These control systems are built with timed intervals, meaning that they do not have any sensors or detectors to change color according to the traffic jams. For example, a light may stay green for three minutes, even if no cars are passing by while the left turn lane is backed up with cars that only have one minute to pass, inevitably causing a slow traffic flow. This control system includes an electrical mechanical controller and a dial timer. And these are being built less and less just because dynamic control system is winning out uh, because of their convenience. So I'm sorry, it's a little slow. So the dynamic uh, control system is one that operates with sensors. Unlike the time system, this one operates based on traffic needs at a given moment. For example, if the electrical electromagnetic sensor senses your car or multiple cars are waiting to turn left, it will stop the other lights and turn green. This is done to prevent large traffic jams like the one given in my previous example with fixed time systems. So basically it just works on a ratio. So if there's way more cars waiting for the left signal turn, that, me the that means that the light will change colors in order to help the people who wanna turn left, turn left and inevitably help traffic run smoothly and not cause backups. And these are more convenient, obviously, because they, they make us wait less time. So this is a dynamic control system. That's just how it works. The magnetic field sends a little, little uh, symbol to the traffic light to change. And then this is a fixed time control system, which works in intervals. So nothing fancy really about that one, it's just a timer. So those are just the different types. And then now to take a look of a more, to the build of the traffic light itself. So the traffic light uh, builds, the most common are pedestal, mast arm, uni poles, strain poles, and existing structures. So we'll just see picture. And this is a little drawing of each of them. So you guys probably have seen each of these lights in respective areas. Pedestals are usually more common in like downtown, older downtown areas. Um, and most of these are usually more in modern areas. So the mass arm traffic light system, this is just a picture of it. It's just an arm, just a right angle. And that's it, the unipole traffic light system. So that's how it works there. Then we have the pedestal traffic light system. It's just a small light. And then we have the strain pole system, which is, which is hung by wires. And this is the traffic light. So from the video, this is the same traffic light built here. It just is, happens to be black. But those ones, the polycarbonate traffic lights are used on the signal wires just to prevent it from breaking or being too heavy. Uh, and so that they do at the end of the day hold up and then existing structure traffic light. So this one just happens to be built off a light. So those are just built off different systems, structures that already existed, that already are existing. So these are just tr different style arrangements of traffic light systems. So you have seen these probably all around town, depending on where you live. So basically these are just ways that traffic lights can be arranged. 
So in conclusion, traffic lights are fascinating yet complicated engineering products that are constantly needing improvement and advancements, but they help keep us safe and keep traffic flowing to prevent major road problems. We ought to appreciate them more and just give God thanks for them because they are built there for our safety. I hope you guys enjoyed. I know some of my slides were a little slow during the transition. Uh, I don't know why that is, but I hope you guys enjoyed this presentation and I hope you guys have a blessed day and God, may God bless you. And here at the end are just my sources if you're looking for them. But thank you so much. God bless you.